If I could only give you half of my story, trust me, you have to determine early in the game that you're not going to quit. And I don't know how many of you are married in here. How many married people do we have? Now, I'm not going to ask you to raise your hand because your spouse might be here. How many times have you been feeling like you're ready to quit that spouse? <laughs> don't raise your hand. I want no fights tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you have to marry your business. You have to marry your dream just like you would your spouse. And you have to be just that dedicated. Like date your dream for the single people. Because some people are single in here. Date your dream like you would date that man. Show up for him every day looking good, smelling good with the right attitude. Date and be committed. Determine that no matter how rough and tough it gets, you're going to get back up. Now, you might need a break. Oh, God, this man getting on my nerves. You might have that moment. You might. You will. This you will. This business, man, these customers, ah. You know, I wish I could come and talk to you about customer retention. Because <laughs> some customers you want and some customers you're better off not having. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I get into things about writing affirmations and writing a list of your ideal customer characteristics and praying and meditating over that so you can attract those kind of people into your business. People who will value you and go ahead and pay that $80 for the shoe. Okay. There's a way. Yeah, and then tip you for putting them on your feet. See? <laughs> There's a way. But you have to be committed to your business and your dream just like a, a spouse or a boyfriend or somebody you're courting or engaged to. You put your best face on, you show up, and you figure out what does this person need to be happy and healthy? What does your business need to be happy and healthy? And you show up and you determine, I'm gonna get up and still give it to them. Regardless of how I feel. I really feel like going out with my girlfriends, but I got a dream. And that dream needs me, I got a business and it needs me. You have to determine ahead of time that you're gonna A, win. You're gonna to have to determine, a, determine B, that you're gonna sacrifice some things. You're gonna to have to determine that when it gets rough, you won't quit. And if you do quit, and bills are tight, and money is not flowing, if you get into a nine to five, and I'm not discouraging anybody from not taking a, a job, enter in with a plan B and an exit strategy. When you go in for that interview and they'll be smiling at you, so how oh, you gonna make a career out of this? You're like, I'm so excited to work here for you. But in the back of your mind, you're thinking, yes, because in six months I'm out of here. You, know? <laughs> you never have to say that. They want to hire you. You will be, you know, you won't have money, but <laughs> go in. If you have to go in, you always enter with a exit strategy. Know how long you're gonna do that thing. Because if you don't and you stay, your dream will be inside of you just rotting away. And it's an ache that's hard to get rid of. You feel like you're sold out. And there's nothing worse than self-betrayal. And some of you people have a business that you say you called to. I'm called to do this. The Lord said, girl, you better get up and do that thing. If God has called you to do it, and you're doing something else, then there's that extra guilt of feeling like you're being sinful. Maybe it's just me. Is it just me? Because that was me. Been there, done that. Been there, done that. Oh, I'm not alone. Bless the Lord, I'm not alone. And I'm like, Lord, forgive me for going into this job today. I know you're going to deliver me. I know you're going to deliver me. That used to be my prayer. <laughs> Holy Spirit said, yep. The Lord will deliver you when you deliver yourself. When you deliver on your power of now, when you get to speaking what and doing what's on your to-do list. On your lunch break, instead of kicking it with your girlfriends, you got a to-do list. You need to be sending out emails and telling people about your products and services. On your other break, you need to be building your website. Take your laptop with you. You can hang out with the friends later. That's how you get delivered. You do what God said. But you have to determine that that's what you're going to do. You have to be dedicated. That's the other D for mind, M-I-N-D. Anybody have any questions for me so far? Because I know I've been giving you a lot. Of
But just remember, no matter what hits your life and no matter what hits your business, you have to use the power of your mind. Always keep a strong mentality that you're going to win. Use your intellect and build your information. Use the power of now. Boom, 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 now. And be determined that you are going to win. Thank you for listening. I'm Sharon Grace with BecomingLink.com.